Hello, today we're going to talk about ruler usage with drawing, especially with drawing in perspective. So as you can see, I have a paper in front of me. I have a Sharpie. Normally when we're drawing in perspective, we would definitely use a pencil and we would draw very lightly. If you draw too hard in perspective, you're going to end up with lines that you cannot erase. And even if you're doing your perspective drawing 100% accurately, you will still have a lot of things to erase. Generally with perspective drawing, all of your lines are either going to be horizontal, which means it goes straight side to side, vertical, which means it goes straight up and down, or diagonal. Usually if it's diagonal, it's going to go to the vanishing point. All right, so normally when I have students that come in to draw, they're going to just guess if their line is horizontal or not. So they'll put their ruler down, Shift it over a little bit, looks pretty close, and then they're gonna draw their line. When you are drawing perspective, everything builds off of itself. So if I have a line that I draw and it is not parallel with the bottom of the paper or the side of the paper, or perfectly horizontal or vertical, it is going to kind of become a snowball effect. And one issue will turn into a slightly bigger issue and that will turn into a slightly bigger issue until you have a big issue. So to make sure that our line is straight across side to side, instead of just guessing, you're going to use the side of the paper and the side of your ruler. So what you do is you line up the side of the ruler with the side of the paper, and then you draw your line. Make sure that you hold your ruler pretty well. If it jumps, you're gonna have to redo that line. All right, so the top line, which looked correct initially, as you can see, was pretty far off now that we have a line that was exactly horizontal. So we're going to cross that one out. Okay, so the same thing with vertical lines. Instead of just guessing and just putting our ruler down, you are going to line up the top of the ruler with the top of the page and then make your line straight up and down. As long as the paper is cut correctly and your ruler is not super wonky on the end, that line should be straight up and down vertical and this line should be straight horizontal. The other kind of lines that you use a lot of the time are going to be lines to your vanishing point. So those are going to be diagonal lines. I have a smaller ruler to use with this because I have a smaller piece of paper so I can kind of show you. All right, so a lot of the time with perspective, you'll start with a flat shape, at least two point perspective, or one point perspective, two point perspective, you'll start with both sides, but that's besides the point. You'll start with the shape and then you'll have your vanishing point right there. Okay, so what I run into is when somebody will try to connect this to this, they're just gonna go put them on there. And then when they go to actually draw it, a lot of the times the ruler gets bumped. What I like to do, or what I like to tell my students, is to hold the ruler on the vanishing point. I like to put my thumbnail there so that the ruler is on the vanishing point no matter what. And then just kind of turn the ruler until it gets to the point you wanna go. So right now we wanna connect it to this point. So I'm gonna put my thumbnail on my vanishing point, put my ruler there. Again, that way the ruler stays on the vanishing point. Then I'm just gonna move it until it gets to my other point that I want it to connect to. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect that line. Okay, I'll show you two more times. Put my thumb on that point that I want it to connect to and then move my ruler so it's exactly where I want it and then connect. Again, sometimes my ruler will jump a little bit. If it does that, just re reset it. Okay, so right there, I know that my lines are going to be pretty much exactly to the finishing point. Thank you and have a great day.